Welcome to Carmela's Kitchen 54. Today we're going to make banana cake. Yummy, you're going to love it. Easy to make it. Let's do it. Okay, I smashed already uh, two medium size of banana. If they are big, if you find big one, get two. If they're not so big, like a medium size, you need three. But the banana has to be ripe. Otherwise, uh, won't be a flavor of banana. Smash it good. Good, good, good enough. Okay. I think it's good. Okay. Put on a big ball. Okay. One cup of vegetables or canola oil. Cup. You need a whisk. Three quarter a cup of sugar. I can reduce a little bit because we have a maple syrup too. Three quarter a cup. Two tablespoon of brown sugar, <clears throat> dark. Mm. There you go. They give it good flavor, like a caramel, you know. Okay. Half a cup of maple syrup. Get a good one. Half a cup. Here you go. Keep the bottle out. We're gonna need another half cup later when the cake is done. I'll show you. About a teaspoon vanilla. Okay. Okay, three eggs. Put this away. Actually, I'm going to need, okay, okay, um, three eggs, we love banana cake, yummy, okay, we got the eggs, Mix good. Not too much. Don't whip the eggs, actually. First, we have to turn the oven. Sorry. We have to turn the oven to 350. 350. Yes, I got it. Yeah. Put the oven on. 350. Now... We need two cups of all-purpose flour. Put in a dish, small dish. Uh, we have to mix the baking powder, you know, together. Two cups, okay. Two teaspoons baking powder. Okay, mix it up. Okay. Um, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Give it a good flavor. You don't like cinnamon, don't put. But it makes a difference. 
Okay, if you like, you don't have to. Half a teaspoon of uh, ground clove. Mm, about half a teaspoon. You don't have to, but it smells good. Okay, we put the vanilla, we put the uh, maple syrup. I gotta make sure we got everything. Mix it up a little bit like this. You can put uh, half a cup of uh, walnuts, cut up, you know, um, chopped walnuts to the mix, or raisins, or cranberry, half a cup. I don't put because my daughter don't like it, so. <laughs> Okay, we got it. We got it. Very easy to make it. You don't have butter here. Oil is better. Okay. Did I mix it good enough? I think so. You put the flour to the banana mix. Okay, let's go gently. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. More. Actually, I'm supposed to have a bigger bowl than this, but that's okay. We'll do it. use a, a Pyrex tray or I'm using a, like an English cake tray two the two cakes or you can have one okay let me see don't over mix be careful because the baking powder I think it's good enough. Okay. Now, we got everything, gotta make sure. Yes, we do. Okay, now, those two trays. Grease or spray, whatever you got, with oil. Okay, let's brush. Um, another one. Okay. I'll try to put even. Let's see. Okay, have here. Oops, uh, let's see, and I have here. It's even, about, this one needs more. Very important, the banana is going to be ripe. Otherwise, this banana cake not going to taste like a banana cake. Okay, and this goes go to the oven okay and we'll see you for okay 350 um, 40 to 45 minutes might be 50 minutes check uh, I'll show you when it's gonna be done the color we're gonna get of the cake okay we'll see you soon we took the cake out right away when the cake is hot it took me 50 minutes to get this color of the cake. Um, right away when it's hot, you put, you put in half a cup maple syrup, about a quarter of a cup to this. It's gonna absorb when the cake hot, hot, hot. There you go, and quarter of a cup here. Very yummy, you're gonna love it. Mostly when you buy a lot of bananas and they get ripe, you don't know what to do with that. So make a banana cake. Mm. And it smells so good, I smell the banana. That's it.
Good luck to you. See you next time. And I hope you're going to like it. Thank you.